English, Español, Vanus Enigma. Innocent Trip to Kitty. 16.03.25 Happy Easter. Today is Good Friday. I am just going for a walk. Feliz Pascua. Hoy es Viernes Santo. Estoy dando un paseo. This morning I created a little slideshow with the title Many Atheists Started to Believe in the Bible Since They Studied Flat Earth. Esta mañana he creado un pequeño slideshow de imágenes con el título Muchos ateos han empezado a creer en la Biblia desde que han empezado a estudiar en el tema de la tierra plana. Almost every year before Easter, I have some kind of depression. Casi todos los años antes de Pascua tengo algún tipo de depresión. I talked a little bit about that in my two YouTube channels. He hablado ya un poco sobre este tema en mis dos canales de YouTube, Vanos Enigma. I think almost everybody knows that um, Jesus had to die for the forgiveness of our sins. Creo que todo el mundo ya sabe que Jesús tuve que morir para que nuestros pecados sean perdonados. And in at least one gospel of the Bible, Jesus says something like, you should become like the children uh, to get into heaven. En un gospel de la Biblia, Jesús dice algo como que deberíamos uh, convertirnos como, uh, ser como niños para conseguir ir al cielo. I remember that my mother told me something several times by the way she was born in the time of the war in Germany. Recuerdo que mi madre me contó una cosa varias veces. Uh, ella nació en tiempo de guerra en Alemania. She said that she thought when she was child, ah, better, better uh, die as soon as possible so I can get into heaven as early as possible, as soon as possible. Ella dijo que cuando era niña, pequeña, pensó muy a menudo, ah, mira, mejor morir lo antes posible para lo antes posible ir al cielo. And actually, this is a philosophy I had for almost all of my life. Y en realidad esto es una filosofía que yo tuve por casi toda mi vida. So this way there would have been no necessity for Jesus to die for our sins. Así de esta manera no hubiera necesidad por Jesús de morir por nuestros pecados. The question, what's the sense of life? Seems like the only sense is to avoid sinning. <laughs> Esa pregunta 
tan importante que es el sentido de la vida. Parece que el único sentido es de evitar el pecado. I like to study words and hashtags. I got words written together with hashtag before. Me gusta estudiar en palabras y hashtags como palabras, varias palabras escrito juntos y hashtag delante. And in several cases I prefer a hashtag which is combined with different words than just these words separately. En varios casos prefiero unos hashtags en que se componen de varias palabras al lugar de estas palabras por separado. Maybe the best example is the hashtag Christian Anarchism. Tal vez el mejor ejemplo es el, la palabra anarquismo cristiano. Just some days ago I listened again to a video of the Prophecy Club, if I remember correctly, Ken Peters. Hace unos días he vuelto a escuchar uh, un video del Prophecy Club de profetía, profecía bíblica. More and more people are having visions of the end times apocalypse. Siempre más gente están teniendo visiones de Apocalipsis, tiempo final. And it seems that in the future it's uh, getting dangerous to confess being a Bible believing Christian. Y parece que en el futuro va a ser peligroso de confesar que uno uh, ser cristiano creyente en la Biblia. And another observation I made that the word Christian um, is getting a worse and worse reputation. He hecho otra observación que la palabra cristiano está, está consiguiendo una reputación Siempre peor. Just some weeks ago, I created a video with the title Did you notice how many people are creating videos with the title Why I am not longer a Christian? Justo hace unas semanas He creado un video con el título ¿Te has enterado cuánta gente están creando videos con el título? Porque ya no soy cristiano. Maybe I'll just pay, paste that video now. Tal vez voy a pegar este video en este momento. Some weeks ago I started to like a new YouTube channel. Hace unas semanas empecé a apreciar un nuevo canal de YouTube. I typed in the YouTube filter Project Bluebeam and Flat Earth and many other videos I like of that YouTube channel. 
escrito en el filtro de YouTube, Proyecto Rayo Azul y Tierra Plana, eh, este vídeo y muchos otros de este canal de YouTube me gustan. As I have connected my Twitter to my YouTube channel, it copies automatically uh, to my Twitter account. Innocent Crypto Kitty, if I like something. Como he conectado mi Twitter con mi YouTube, uh, se copia automáticamente si me gusta algo en mi Twitter, Innocent Crypto Kitty. By the way, welcome to follow. I clicked on many of his videos that I like them, but then I discovered a one video. I didn't click that. I didn't click at all. Didn't didn't click uh, not. A little bit strange video. He hecho clic en muchos de sus vídeos que me gustan. Luego he descubierto un vídeo que no, no he hecho ningún clic tampoco que no me gusta. Um, pero I read actually all the comments on that video. He leído todos los comentarios de este vídeo. Later, I discovered that many other people, a uh, long time before him, have created sim similar videos with that title, Why I'm Not Longer a Christian. Luego he descubierto que mucha otra gente ya antes de él han creado uh, vídeos similares con el título porque ya no me considero cristiano. The reason why is related to one very complicated topic. La pregunta por qué está relacionado con un tema muy complicado. Then I watched several documentaries about this complicated topic. Luego he mirado varios documentales sobre este tema complicado. And I just want to share one screenshot of one of these documentaries. Uh, voy a compartir una captura de pantalla de uno de estos documentales. A verse of the Bible, Revelation 2.9, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Down in the description, I'll paste uh, the link to that documentary and, of course, the link to that YouTube channel I was talking before. Debajo en la descripción voy a pegar el link a este documental y también el canal de YouTube del que estaba hablando antes. And in relation to that video, I'll paste the be beginning of that video, a black or white. Y en relación con este video, voy a pegar una, la primera parte del video, black or white. It expresses very well the philosophy of what if I told you that the left and the right wing belong to the same bird. 
expresa muy bien la filosofía de la pregunta um, ¿Qué tal si te digo que el, el ala derecho y el ala izquierda izquierdo pertenecen al mismo pájaro? Hey, what's up, guys? So you can see from the intro there that I'm focusing on Mr. Bird and the Masonic visual of the black and white. Uh, basically, I would like to discuss Admiral Bird in the true context in which he appeared, and that is the mainstream control system. He was an actor just like the pathetic political actors we have today. And it is undeniable that he was a tool for the elite. The question we as truth seekers need to ask ourselves is, what was their agenda? And what I have discovered and concluded recently, with the aid of some ancient maps and just thinking about the issue logically, is that his mission to Antarctica was a purposeful hoax. And there are several possible reasons why they did this, but regardless of the true reason, we as truth seekers need to be very cautious when we refer to Admiral Byrd, whether we cite him at all. In my opinion, it'd be better not to play into their hands by using their puppet, their hoax, as part of our narrative. Now obviously that's what they want us to do. Common sense dictates that Admiral Byrd was carrying out a mission for the elite. He was obviously part of the elite. So we need to question everything. We can't just assume he found some dome and then launched a bunch of nukes at it. Operation Fishbowl was their production. And we use that as proof in our movement. And that is their story. Why would we take their word for it? We need to research nukes and Operation Fishbowl, and many people have come to the realization that nukes are a hoax, a fear tactic hoax. I mean, nuclear warheads on rockets in 1962? I mean, that's funny stuff. I'm not going to go into detail about that now, but it seems a little illogical to establish the fact that we are being lied to by sociopaths on one hand, and then blindly accept parts of their story without critically dissecting it. Uh, now, before I get into Admiral Byrd and some possible implications of his hoax, I would first like to discuss the Masonic tactic of using black and white to control the masses. Now, it's all about black and white to them. Those in power in this world like to separate people into rigid groups, and then they control both sides of the issue. They make things black and white, like Georgie Boy said. Either you're with us, either you love freedom, and with nations which embrace freedom, or you're with the enemy. There's no in-between. You're either with us or you're with the enemy. That's, that's clear. And we know they control both sides of the war on terror. Um, for example, the same powers control these seemingly different groups or debates. We have the black versus white, liberal versus conservative, gay versus straight, fossil fuels versus alternative fuels, the mainstream medicine versus alternative medicine, and GMO versus non-GMO. Christian versus Muslim, religion versus science, round earth versus flat earth. And we have flat earth shills versus the flat earth shill debunkers. Now, when we apply this to the flat earth, my thought is that we need to be vigilant and not fall for this trick. The rulers of this world use this black and white mindset to control us by separating us into groups and then having the groups fight each other. I mean, we're very good at pointing out the Masonic black and white 
visuals, but we never reflect on how we fall into that same trap of the black and white visual. Um, and this works within a same group. In the case of the Flat Earth, the constant shill accusations and counter accusations accomplishes this control for them. Then there is the separation and fight with the ball earthers. So before we fall for this black and white trick, this tactic, even among our truth-seeking peers, we need to be completely honest with ourselves and ask ourselves questions, such as, why do I make videos? What do I hope to achieve with my videos? And if I accuse others of being shills because they may have different theories or ideas, what exactly are they doing that prevents me from making my videos and achieving my goals? Why would I attack somebody if they're not stopping me from making my videos or getting my message out? Uh, if I think somebody's lying, I could just state my case in a new video. I don't necessarily need to attack that person. I mean, is making videos about shills or attacking others a productive or positive use of my time? And we know it's best not to feed trolls, and in my opinion, even responding to negative videos about shills or disinfo agents is just creating more negative energy. And the beast thrives on negative energy. The beast thrives on fear, hatred, jealousy. That's what they want. It gives them power. And when we respond or attack, they win. So the controllers are creating black and white divisions where such divisions do not need to exist. We just shouldn't play their game. We express our opinions, facts, and discoveries, and other people will express theirs, and the viewers can decide what information they discern as truth from either source. 